Hello everybody. This is Ansh from Bitten Tech and in this video I am going to talk about or I can say I do a software review. I am going to do a software review of a software called Photoscape. Photoscape is a basic photo editing software in which you can do basic editing of a photo and and you can also use it to fix and enhance photos. So first of all download it from a website official website photoscape.org I have already downloaded it so I will directly open it It's a very lightweight software but it it also has disadvantages it cannot work with layers like photoshop So here are many things you can do with this software the ba- uh, main thing that we can do is editing and make one photo by merging multiple photos in one frame and can also combine several photos put together multiple photos horizontally vertically and yeah one interesting thing is you can make gifs from this software i will post a tutorial on that separately so for now we will leave it and next you can print photos in different formats and splits a single photo in different photos and save it in documents and you can also capture the screen the computer screen capture full screen window screen custom screen and uh, you can also uh, pick colors uh, its advantages you can get the rgb values of the colors like black red get the rgb values and you can copy it to the clipboard so close it now raw used to convert raw format to jpeg format of image you can rename batch rename of images uh, yes this one is interesting you can print print this type of copy pages in a plain sheet of paper you can uh, set up the printer and set up the page size and you can print this type of margins and lines in a plain paper like a copy there are many options in this too this type of images can be printed like a, uh, you can make a copy of this out of it uh, this this can also be printed it has many options different checks uh, this type of you can also print calendar calendar in a page this uh, tables for writing time tables a single month calendar and many more and you can also basically view images one by one so now we are going to get uh, go to the editor so open the editor and select any image you want to edit so for now i am going to select this image uh, this image is not edited earlier so i am going to select this raw image i am going to edit and show you some editing you can set margin outside the folders you can set the margin in the outline of the image any color margin you can also set the thickness of the margins any color change the color and make the edges round select any color now you can resize the image you can make it small make it large adjust height and width this is very basic now these are setting brightness and contrast here is very cool thing you can set the contrast like this uh, low contrast high contrast it also enhances the image proper lighting Uh, this looks better than the original image you can also decolor darken darken the image deepen the color and 
and also set the white balance color balance set the color balance you can set to how much red you want in the image how much green you want how much blue you want so for your convenience you can set it to anything it looks good after editing so there are many things in brightness and contrast so you can try it on your own hit and trial method auto level the brightness and contrast sharpen the image if it is blur film effect is very interesting thing there are many of film effects uh, you can choose from many of them there are many cool effects cross processes many cool effects here you can choose from a variety of effects these are this uh, base uh, main film effects and there are many filters these are basic film effects again darkening the edges of the images like this it looks pretty antique you can make the photo antique distorting it like this so it, it does look antique now it's a nice effect and uh, you can also uh, set gradients like this her effect is gradient tint like a light of a lens you can set it to any part of the image adjust the length thickness of that lens in some images it looks good but but you need to set the place correctly color shape size of the lens should be can be set you can also fade uh, there are many fade styles you can blur the image how much you want to blur it you can set it crystallize the image it is also a good effect crystallization of the image and cellophane like a uh, make the image like a cellophane spread the rgb colors of the image and look it like uh, it's a news print printed in a newspaper you can also set it like it's a colored water painting or a pencil drawn with a pencil or pen this type of images like uh, you can make the image like it's been drawn by a pencil or pen or a painting now now for now i'm going to undo this look make it look like a cartoon and set the intensity of the cartoonization now there are many distortions also the first distortion is the perspective you can tilt the axis of the image into any direction vertical or horizontal and set the level of that tilt there are many effects motion blur radial tilt radial blur like the camera has been motioned off motion blur illusion you can also set how many illusions you want to have
you can also set a glass tile effect glass tile effect many effects like this type of glass like tiles and make a box a 3d box from the image like this this type of cuboid and also uh, now we'll go to object you can you can add a photo over this existing photo but you cannot uh, yes you can add a photo over this photo set the size of the set the, set the size of this photo and place it over the image now the image will will be saved as it as it looks here so you can add another image over anywhere I'm going to undo this and you can also draw basic shapes over the image import symbols and everything this type of tools like this mosaic effect is very interesting if, I, if you like if you want to blur a particular part of the image like I want to blur the, this part so I can do with the don't existing the original image is behind this blur so I can just you can also this type of these are the effects we have discussed like red eye remove red eye removal also and clone stamp paint brush paint brush you can draw over the image write something over the image like this in any color in any shape size so here's some basic editing not so advanced editing the bloom effect is also very good like uh, you want to uh, make your face look more attractive and add more light to it that's you can do it with bloom effect your face will look more clean and clear and now I'm going to show you the original image and compare it with this edited image I'll give you a rough idea how the editing works so I'm going to select the original image first this, this is the original image I downloaded and this is the edited, edited image now we are going to compare it so now you can see that the both the images are very far different from each other they are pretty different from each other you can see this image is looking very attractive you can see our edited image is far more attractive than this original image so you can get an idea how much you can edit and what the results you can get from this software so this is this is the most of the things you can do from photoscape so my honest reviews for this app the main advantages of this software include that it is small and lightweight and has a number of in each category it is very versatile with paper printing and also a gif maker so it is one to go software for beginners the main disadvantages of this software include that you cannot work with layers in this and there are no selection tools like fuzzy select tool, lasso tool, free select tool etc like we used to have in photoshop and gimp like softwares. Overall I would say that it is a very basic photo editing software with no advanced editing tools but it's obvious because it is very lightweight and it's not that famous but most people will be okay with this software who don't need advanced editing and simply want to enhance their photos and make them look attractive but if you are a professional photo editor who wants more sophisticated tools for your editing then you should better go for the Adobe Photoshop like softwares so that's it for this video if you like this video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will be posting some great tutorials like this 
very soon so stay tuned keep watching and thanks for watching